Hey everybody, I'm here today to do a review of this Sony Cybershot DSC HX80 camera. In this video review, I'll be going over the features and functions of this camera and telling you about my own personal opinion on it now that I've used it for several weeks. Let's get right to it. Let's start off with the form factor of the camera. As you can see, it is relatively compact and small. It easily fits inside of your pocket and it is, I would consider it in the medium weight category. It's not too heavy, but it's also not very, very light. Now, I also like this little grip over here because it allows you to hold the camera easily and it gives you a, a smaller chance of dropping the camera or losing grip of the camera. So something as small as this makes the world of a difference. Now let's go over some of the specs. It has an 18.2 megapixel resolution. It has 30 times optical zoom. It is built it has built-in Wi-Fi and NFC, so you can share what you've uh, taken and recorded with ease. And it also records in 1080p for video. Now, I will say that I primarily use this for recording videos for my YouTube channel. I used to have a 720p camera, and it did a great job at recording videos. But the 1080p resolution in this camera makes the world of a difference. The resolution is absolutely amazing. And I will say that I have used it to take pictures as well. And it does a great job at both recording video and taking pictures. Now I'll actually just show you two little features that I really, really like. So as you can see right here, it has a nice flat top. It's a nice, nice, you know, flush surface. But if you actually pull this little lever right here, it opens up the flash, which is a really, really good feature because it has a flash built in, but it actually, you know, just tucks away like that. So you don't have to worry about it getting in the way or anything like that. It makes it, it allows the camera to, to maintain its portability because it remains small. It also has a built in viewfinder. And when I pull this down, you'll see the viewfinder and the camera will turn on. So as you can see right there, the camera is turned on. We have the built in viewfinder. Here's a really cool feature. If you put your eye on the viewfinder and I'll simulate it right now, you can see the viewfinder turns on and the screen turns off, which is very good for preserving battery. The moment that you remove your eye from the viewfinder, you can see that the screen turns on once again. So it's a really useful feature for preserving battery. Now you can see there's a whole bunch of information being displayed on the screen here, which is really, really good because if you want to customize your video uh, and customize your picture then you can do you can do just that with all of these different uh, all of this different information here you can really customize it to a great degree one of my favorite features is the exposure compensation and it's really easy to use you just push this down button right here and you can adjust the exposure compensation just like that so if you're in a dark situation or a light situation you can adjust it easily and it's really easy to do and really quick to do now I'm just going to close this and you can see when I close the viewfinder, the camera actually turns off once again. So that's a huge plus in my opinion because it really preserves battery life and makes it easy to use. It just limits the number of steps that you have to take to use the viewfinder and turn the camera off when you're using the viewfinder. You can see that it has all of these dials and buttons up here towards the right hand side so you can operate them with your index finger which is a huge plus. The, the lens tucks away nicely and it's relatively small with regards to its depth. One of my favorite features <clears throat> is the screen right here. Obviously, you can look at it from the back, but you can flip it up just like that, and you can look at it from the front um, over here. Now, the one downside to this camera is that it does not have a microphone input port, um, but I was looking through pretty much every point and shoot camera that I found and was, was looking for, and none of them had a microphone input port. So I wouldn't say that's a downside of this specific camera, it's more a downside of all point and shoot cameras that I have found and that I know of. Overall, it's a great camera. Like I said, it's really portable and lightweight. I throw it in my bag easily and it records 1080p video um, that, that looks absolutely amazing and it's really easy to use. And you can also, once again, use it for taking pictures or recording video, which is absolutely awesome. It's pretty much a multi-use camera. And that's basically it. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video review of this Sony Cybershot HX80 camera. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.